God creates dinosaurs. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates man. Man destroys God. Man becomes democratic. Democrats create Joe Biden. Joe Biden destroys America. Hmm. Hello everybody, Cooper here from Brooks Production Studios. Back at it again at Giggity Walmart. Uh, back looking at Jurassic World stuff since the last video did astronomically well. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, I'm back at it. It would be kind of dumb not to, oh my God. The fourth closet. They have five minutes of Freddy's books here. I didn't see that. Look at that. The silver eyes, fourth closet. I didn't even see that, not pick that up, just off rip. Yeah, I'm back at it again, uh, doing these uh, Walmart videos. You guys seem to really like them, uh, along with the toy reviews. Those are gonna keep coming as well. Um, now, the question is, what do I grab this time? I don't know. Well, is my cart in the way? I don't think I can go that way. I'm sorry. Well, there's certainly no shortage of um, Triceratops, Rajasaurus, Ankylosaurus, or pretty much any of the medium carnivores. Uh, yeah, there's also no shortage of the Matchbox stuff. Doesn't look like that's going over well. They've got shirts. They've got Jurassic World shirts. They've got the T-Rex, which is a little bit pricey. Don't know if I'm going to be picking this up today. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's just take it out and see what it looks like. Yeah, uh, bruh. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> just a standard blue. Oh, God paint defect on the eye oh it's bad see look at this this one looks fine that one ugh, it's like the cyclops raptor except way worse let's see i got that last time this i might get this you know how much does it cost uh 14 oh this is the, oh this is just here someone just shoved this in with the uh clairs mm -hmm. don't actually know how much the own pack costs I'll probably pick it up. It's kind of weird how they pack them in, like, with all this stuff and not just the figure individually, like all the, the carded days. But, I mean, it's cool. I get it. Beta looks a little big, though, but I guess I had to do that. Because, <laughs> if I mean, if it was, like, a tiny little beta like it is in the movie, it would be kind of, in, uh, well, it would be accurate, but it would be, like, sort of redundant to have that giant packaging. I think the gaming beaver talked about that, too. I don't know. <laughs> Adventure Force Jurassic World Dominion. Not a crossover I think I'd see. Again, um, rubber dinosaur toys, rubber animals. This is the way to go. I don't know why Mattel doesn't understand that, but hey, rubber dinosaurs, woo! You know, I was reviewing the footage of the last video where I did this and um, I think I might pick this guy up, maybe. I don't know. And it looks like it has a nice paint job. Nice little action feature. Yeah. Although it doesn't seem to work all the time. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I might pick this guy up. You never know. Of course, this is always on the table. Oh, somebody commented and told me that the reason the Pharisonosaurus has carnivore teeth is because it was an omnivore. Not sure if that was the case, but um, hey, you never know. You never know. I looked it up and it said they were herbivores, but I don't know, he could be right. I mean, considering it's in-gen, I mean, they'd obviously screw up, so I wouldn't doubt that it was an omnivore. Thanks, random guy who commented. I'll put your name up on screen. See, I got this already. Do you guys want me to review this? Because I have it. I might pick up one of the Lego sets, you know? These look, these look nice. Cost efficient. $80, never mind. Ta-da. Dun, 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 my hand. Big freaking honking rubber shark. I would have loved this as a kid. Look at that. Imagine if they put out these for Jaws. <laughs> now this is the stuff I remember getting as a kid. I would get like these bootleg things like that. That's a Godzilla roar. I mean, I'm not saying this stuff is crap. I mean, it's better than whatever Hasbro gave us for Jurassic World. <laughs> this is completely unrelated, but oh my God, it's the Ecto-1. And it's $44. Jesus Christ, that is sure to, I don't know, please somebody. 
As of, they've also got other Ghostbusters stuff. I always thought Ghostbusters was interesting. I just never got into it. We are officially on the other side. <laughs> Again. Who keeps doing that to the poor Triceratops? Oh god, this one I can't even fix. Oh my god. Oh, that's loose. Look at that. Is that from the factory? Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know. Mattel's got all kinds of weird quality control issues. Uh, I got this last time. Oh my god, it's not just mine. Look at that. Holy crap. That's terrible. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ew. Well, now I know it's not just mine that has those weird paint globs. Okay, now I call out to all of the people who got upset in the comment section of my last toy hunt uh, for um, shitting on Mattel. Please leave the video now because I'm about to do it again. <laughs> what is wrong with the quality control? Oh my god. I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's supposed to like sort of blend in with the figure. Like on parts like that, but it's so messily applied and so random haphazard, it just looks like shit. We've got a T-Rex up there and a T-Rex right here. Both are supposed to be adults. Bull honky. Look at that. That is why? Why why doesn't why doesn't that say young T-Rex if it's if it's gonna be smaller? I don't understand. And the Quetzalcoatl look at look at the watch on that! Oh my god! What the hell? Why is it just globbed on the neck? Oh my god. Toenails aren't painted. Hand nails aren't painted. Oh my god. And again, if you compare this to a human figure, that is not accurate size at all. In the trailer, the Quetzalcoatlus destroys the plane that these guys are in, and that's a giant plane, so this should have been like a colossal figure. It really should have been. I don't understand what they don't get about that, but uh, I don't know. I don't want to, because I don't want to shit on these toys too much. They're really good toys. Like, I'm sure kids are going to grow up with these, and they're going to love them, and I can't doubt them. These are undoubtedly great toys but i don't know just over the years that mattel has had the license it just feels like the quality is going down and down and down i mean no way are these worse than jurassic world one no way are these worse these are great figures these are spectacular things for kids and i'm sure they're gonna love them but i mean cheap plastic Basic paint jobs, little to no shading. I mean, cartoonish sculpts. This is, it's a little ridiculous. I mean, all that aside though, I can't really press Mattel that much. Um, you know, they do care. Mattel has shown that they care. Um, and we can't fault them for that. That is a fact. They do care. And they have shown us that they care. They have gave, given us, given us some of the best stuff we could ever imagine so i mean i can't really press mattel that much i just wish the quality was a little bit better okay the the mattel rant is over now all you all you nine-year-olds can come back okay allosaurus same size as t-rex equal fight i would pay to see that <laughs> this is actually really cool i understand i understand why this exists now it's to scale with that <laughs> so these two can actually have a fair fight that's awesome and this thing just reminds me of Jurassic Park 3. Come on, come on, let's let's do the funny joke. Let's do the funny joke. I can't really fault Mattel. They make great stuff. Including those two. Those two are cool. Going around the other side. Yeah, they make good stuff. Can't really fault them too much. I might pick this up, you never know. That was a bit rude of you. Oh my god. The jaw's popping out on this one. Look at that. That's normal. And that's this one. <laughs> this one has a bit of an underbite. <laughs> Alright, since there's all these funny jokes about goo jitsus, I'll make a deal with you. If this video gets to a hundred likes, 
I will buy one of these next time I'm here and fill it with water and make a video about it. I have 180 subscribers, just about, so that should be possible if all of you like the video. <laughs> I will buy one of these, fill it with water, and make it a video about it. Okay, this thing just made an Indominus Rex sound. This is a T-Rex, Mattel, not an Indominus. What the hell? You know, there it seems to be, maybe it's all because it's packed together, but it seems like there's a lot less Jurassic World stuff here than there was last time. I don't know, maybe it's just me. There we go. That looks a lot better. All right. The boss said not to go over $25, so it's a toss up between this T-Rex and this story pack. Uh, guys, let me know down below which one I should buy. Oh wait, this isn't a live stream? Okay. Let me know if in the third one I should pick this up. I've been thinking about it. It's actually one of the better paint jobs I've seen from Mattel. I don't know, let me know. Or maybe one of these Lego sets. These look good. <laughs> I mean, that's what I had to do for Jurassic World since the action figures for that weren't so hot. Ha ha ha. And now go obligatory shot of me pushing the cart with the toy inside. Uh oh. Alright, I just checked with an employee. It is okay for me to film in here, so we're good. And I'm feeling good. Down, bow, 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 down, down, bow, bow, down, down. I'm feeling good. Alright, I am back home now, uh, which means we get to unbox. This, the Extreme Damage Owen and Velociraptor Blue Pursuit Pack, which is pretty freaking nice. Uh, I saw this at Walmart, and I thought, you know what? There are so many Owen Grady figures out there that are all basically the same. This one has a red shirt. Why not get it? So yeah, I decided to pick this up, also because it comes with this new character who kind of looks like me. Weird, I know. But, uh, hey, this is Jurassic World we're talking about. We're no stranger to weird. I got it at the store. It was already partially opened. So I thought, eh, might as well. Uh, yeah, here it is. I understand why the box is so big and you only get, like, what, three things? This box could have honestly been half the size, but whatever. It's not my problem anymore. That's a pretty nice display. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Now the plastic bubble wrap. Wait. Okay, here's the newest character. Rain Decourt, I think his name is. Uh, yeah, this guy looks like me when I have long hair. Don't know what the, the heck's up with that, but um, okay. Okay. This is a solid figure. I mean, again, the... The Mattel guys aren't really my style of action figure, but you know, it works. What the heck? Oh, please don't let that be a paint defect. You see that? Hold on, camera's not focusing. Hold on. Autofocus is really weird on this camera. Do you see that? Maybe if I put it in front of my face. Maybe get my face out of the equation. Yeah, do you see that? The heck is that black smudge on his face? I don't know. From this angle, it kind of looks like Captain Jack Sparrow with the long jacket and everything. You know? This is my first Owen figure that I've had in a while. Um, yeah. He's pretty, pretty standard overall. His head is really stiff again. Uh... You know, what would have been cool is if they, um, <clears throat> like, if they put, like, a plaid pattern, like, over his shirt to make it look like a country, country hillbilly shirt, because, you know, he's in the countryside in the trailers. Uh, overall, um, pretty, pretty good, pretty good detailing, especially in the jeans. <coughs> Especially on the jeans, they've actually texturized 
the jeans pretty good. They've colored his hair darker, which is nice. And he has a red shirt, which is different. Uh, looks a heck of a lot like Chris Pratt, although his eyes are sort of facing to the left. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but uh, they're kind of fo focusing to the left. He's got the standard Mattel articulation. So you can be doing that, running away from dinosaurs. Or, you know, trying to put his hands out to calm a wild Carnotaurus and Allosaurus. And no, I'm not making that up. Here's the clip. Such a dumbass character. I, I, I New writing sucks. <clears throat> okay, now we get to the funniest part about this playset. It's taped in. I guess they don't want kids. Hello. I can cut this out. All right, now we get to the, the funniest part about this place that it's taped in Mattel's political correctness. Ness, ness, ness. Okay, it's super tiny. You see that? What is that? What is that? Yep, yeah, that's a knife. You know what the packaging refers to it as? If I get it real quick. Ugh. Utility tool. Wanna see something else that's a utility knife? I guess you gotta be politically correct nowadays. You can't just say weapons. Although I don't understand what the big deal is. Uh, it actually goes into the um, the side pocket on his on his butt. So the the utility tool can actually be there so you don't lose it. That's pretty cool. Ah, the one millionth blue that Mattel has released. And honestly, this looks like the, it's on both sides. The dino damage on both sides, I didn't know that. So this button dictates this side and this side. That's actually really cool. And I think this is a new sculpt. For a I could be wrong, but this looks like a new sculpt for, um, yeah, a Mattel Velociraptor, which is <gasps> rare to see since they just keep repainting the same sculpts. Uh, button right here dictates the dino damage. Looks pretty smooth. That's right, barcode, barcode, bar barcode. If I can get it, ah, there it is. There you go, so you can have blue. It's not really focusing. Focus. So you can have blue in your park today. Sculpt is really nice, although there is a paint defect on the muzzle of blue. There's like a little splotch right there. That's unfortunate. Scaling is, um, well, I mean, it's Mattel. It's gonna be really accurate, mostly. Um, yeah, scaling is, Pretty, pretty standard, pretty good. Yeah, that's the uh, the unboxing. I expect the review in maybe a day or two, maybe. Uh, I'm th knowing this is probably going to be, this is being recorded on Saturday. You'll probably see it uploaded Sunday, maybe tonight, maybe Saturday night, maybe Sunday morning. I uh, don't really know. I keep looking at the camera and then back at my reflection and then back at the camera and back at my reflection. It's really weird, um, but yeah. Expect the review either sometime tomorrow or like Monday. Cause this video is probably gonna go up on Sunday and today's Saturday. Cause it usually takes me like a whole day to edit and then uploading, it usually uploads overnight. So it'll probably drop sometime Sunday and then you'll probably see the review sometime Monday. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, I think if I stick to this kind of content, like toy hunts and unboxings, uh, since you guys obviously love them, I mean, <laughs> views, I mean, <laughs> um, if I keep making reviews and toy hunts and unboxings, would you guys like that? Because 
it seems like that's my main demographic right now. I'm getting a lot of views and I'm getting a lot of new subscribers based on that. So I think I'll just stick to that. So yeah, I think I'm just going to stick to this kind of content. I mean, as long as you guys like it. Uh, I am working on that project that I'm working on that is super secret for this channel. I'm still working on that. It's very secretive. Also, I have a band-aid on my finger. Don't ask why. That sound come out of my mouth? What the hell was that? Uh, expect the this video to be uploaded sometime Sunday. Of course, if you're watching this, it already is Sunday. Uh, and expect the toy review sometime tomorrow based on when you're watching this. Okay. Uh, working on something super secret for the channel. Let me know what I should do with this channel in the meantime. Uh, and if you don't, I'm just going to stick to these because they, they're easy to make and they seem to attract a lot of attention. Okay. Have a nice day and stay safe. Goodbye.